Hello, this is Vampire, uh, here to talk about full motion versus partial motion. Okay, so the concept of full motion versus partial motion is something that I learned from just from my training, um, years and years of training in Kali, Eskrima, Arnis, in those uh, Filipino martial arts styles. And then um, once I start cross-training into other styles like boxing, uh, kickboxing, karate, uh, aikido, you name it. Once you start cross-training, um, I apply the same concept to other styles and it helps me make sense out of things. Okay, so in the Filipino martial arts, Kali, Eskrima, Arnis, we start with the sticks. We don't start with a knife. We don't start empty hand. We start with the sticks and by doing so, I believe it was done on purpose. Uh, the length of the sticks force you to do full motion. The idea here is that you begin with full motion techniques. And the techniques that are uh, taught to you, the angles of attack, they encourage full motion. And um, I believe this is very important. As a beginner... Essentially, if you care about becoming combat ready, not lifelong martial arts, I'm talking about let's use this stuff as fast as we can kind of thing. In this kind of situation, you have to master power. You have to conquer, master, and control power because if you don't, you you see it all the time. People who get in street fights, um, they want to hit the opponent so bad that they're putting everything into it and they're throwing these big bombs at the wrong time and even if they land, you see that they're really off balance and they crash into each other. Uh, the distancing and the timing is just totally not there. That's not a mastery of power. Power is kind of like leading them and just doing whatever. Uh, so you see these big swings and just, you know, people brawling and, you know, people falling down, being off balance and whatnot. This is not harnessing the power properly. So I believe that the first thing if you're interested about real combat, real ap real life application, that is the first thing you got to do is to control, harness, master and conquer power. Um, even if you're trained in something like boxing and you're trained to go 12 rounds, right? 12 rounds. Um, your instinct in the beginning is to want to go you know, extra fast, extra hard. And if you do that, um, if you don't have the proper techniques, balancing footwork and whatnot, it just, it makes things extra hard. That's why I believe in the Filipino martial arts, they want you to do full swing at the beginning. That forces you to deal. It's a full swing, man. That's that's power. <laughs> and you're learning how to properly do that. Now, as you get better, if you get to the point where in a real life situation, you're able to fight calmly, you're able to control your emotions, you're able to control your instincts, and you're able to fight smart, then um, you're not going to be necessarily using power in that kind of situation. Therefore, it's also very important to be able to fight that way and have those kinds of techniques. If you only have power techniques, just because you go, well, this is... This is what I'm probably going to do in real life. And you're limiting yourself, you know. Now, uh, let me transition this, the full motion and partial motion. Let me transition that to 
uh, knife boxing. Okay, in knife boxing, um, when I first made a video on knife boxing many many years ago, uh, I remember the climate on YouTube. I felt like um, like a rebel. People were looking at me like knife boxing. What? I I. I think some people liked it, but then there were lots of others that were like, knife boxing? You must be out of your mind kind of thing. And um, for me, it wasn't something that I just made up and just pulled out of nowhere. Uh, I knew that many Filipino martial artists over in the Philippines were cross-training with boxing. The boxing over there was is kind of a big thing. This is before Pacquiao, okay? Before Pacquiao became super famous. Um, but yeah, I knew boxing, Western boxing, is a big deal in the Philippines, and, and uh, they cross-train. Cross so if you do Kali, Eskrima, Arnis, um, there's a lot of people that cross-train in boxing. Therefore, I thought it was a no-brainer, but over here in the West, in the West it... People were looking at me like I was a little weird or I was crazy or you're just making that up kind of thing. But now I feel like the climate has changed and everyone and their mother um, kind of knows about knife boxing and everyone thinks that they can do it. And maybe they can, um, but I'm here to apply that concept of full motion versus partial motion. Um the full motion is your power, and the partial motion is more like your jab, okay? So it's almost like I'm comparing the cross with the jab. Uh, in boxing, they don't teach it that way. They, they teach those two as a separate punch, not as this is the same punch, one is full motion and the other is only partial. They don't really teach it that way, at least not in the beginning. They, they teach it as... Jab is thrown with the front hand, and and the cross is thrown with the the back hand, uh, from from behind the the hand that's uh, on the back side. So it's it's taught like it's a completely different technique. Now um, I want to share a different perspective, and and that is okay. You have the knife, right? You have the knife in your hand, and uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to throw it and it it turns like this. So right when it turns right here that's where it cuts. Boom, right there. Boom. That's the cutting part, okay? Now if you hold it in the reverse grip, I know a lot of people like to turn the wrist and and cut this way. I've seen this um in various styles and various people. I've I've seen do this, but it's actually this way this way and right when you get here that's where it boom it stabs so in this case this is stabbing if you hold it in the reverse grip there's a stab if you hold it in the standard grip it's a cut it's a cut right here bam that's a cut okay anyway both of those are actually full motion now when does the partial motion come in well you you could do you could do partial motion you don't have to fully twist. You could just go like this, like this. Even with the reverse uh, grip, you could just you could just peck. So those are all partial motions. It becomes real apparent when you have the sticks. With the sticks, if you do a full motion, especially if you're not a big person like me, the sticks might be too too heavy, too long. And by the time you do this, it just takes too long. So in that case. The punching with the sticks, yes, there's stick boxing, believe it or not. is If there's knife boxing, they're going to be stick boxing. That's the way Filipino martial arts works. That's the way it's always worked, in my opinion. Um, no one talks about stick boxing, but if there, once again, it to me is logic. If there's knife boxing, there's going to be stick boxing. And in stick boxing, you're going to hold, pretend this is a stick, and you're gonna be you're gonna be punching with your fist right there, okay? Not with the stick, but with the fist. 
And of course you could do that with a knife as well. But the reason why I'm recommending that is it just with the stick makes it easier to do so. Okay. So boom, boom, you're punching with your knuckles, even though you have a stick in your hand. Now, if you fully turn the stick, that's a full motion. And once again, it becomes harder, especially if your stick is made for combat and it's heavier, denser, thicker. That, that full motion can just take too long. So you definitely don't want to be doing that the entire time. You're going to save that for the right moment. Therefore, it's going to be mostly this. Boom, boom, the partial motion. All right. And I hope that makes sense. There's full motion and there's partial motion. And the wisdom of the Filipinos is to start with full motion, then go to partial. Don't start with partial because your body mechanics can, from the people that I see that do Kali Eskrima Arnis, and they start with partial motion. I see a lot of times their stance is not good, footwork is not good, uh, body mechanics is not good. So they just kind of got so much into the speed and the technique and they're just doing focusing on that rather than the body mechanics. You want the sound structure. To build the sound structure, definitely go with a full motion first. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing. And take care, folks.